Is technology ruining your life? Are you sick and tired of being addicted to Candy Crush and Facebook? Well, those cruel ways of filling the life-depressing void of existence can now be cured by just looking up. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about those fucking inspirational Facebookers and Twitter faggots that are all over the, the interwebs talking about, dude, technology's destroying today's society. We're so disconnected with each other, bro. Dude, I don't know if you've taken a look on the daily news about people getting robbed and stabbed for 50 bucks. I mean, even if you go on the internet, you've got these child predators preying on Minecraft kids and their fan bases to get nude photos for large sums of money. The, the whole irony of the anti-social video web phase is almost fucking disgusting. Because if you really put it into perspective, they're using these these images to portray like uh like such a fucked up society. Like we're all like we're all a bunch of meth heads fucked up on the internet. We're just like this picture right here. Saw this one today. Was like, damn, these kids are fucking faggots, dude. I am so sick and tired of seeing the, the disconnection between internet people who avidly use the internet or use their phones because it might pertain to their job or it might just be hey uh becky from fucking ohio who's on vacation right now is sending us cool pictures of whatever she's visiting how fucking dare her take pictures to remember the moment of when she went to ohio with her family and i get it those pictures probably aren't talking about those specific scenarios and just talking about this massive worldwide disconnection of society with the constant looking down so i'm gonna go through a couple bits of a certain video that i find particularly annoying this this video is by Gary Turk and it's called Look Up. So while watching this video, just keep in mind that there's people out there with social anxiety, people that don't mix well with certain crowds and actually just can't socialize whatsoever. And the best way they can do so is through Facebook, Twitter, whatever type of social media they use. Just keep that in mind while watching this video and what this message he's trying to portray, which I go back to the irony whole thing where it's just ironic that he has to use Facebook and YouTube to get his message out. Fucking asshole. He's going to hell. I have 422 friends yet i'm lonely all right first off you have 422 friends and you're lonely it sounds like a real personal fucking issue dude you should probably go see a doctor i took a step back and opened my eyes i looked around and realized that this media we call social is anything but when we open our computers and it's our doors we shut i still don't see what's wrong with that i i don't is it just because i'm a i'm a tech geek and i like technology <laughs> Fucking shit, dude. I don't, I don't get, like, I don't understand what this shit is supposed to do. Like, how, why, how is this supposed to impact me to be like, you know what? He's so right. I should just go outside and rediscover nature. That's what I'm gonna go fucking do. I'm gonna go rediscover nature, dude. Fuck computers and shit. Fuck the rest of the I'm gonna go fucking outside. From this device of delusion, you awaken to see a world of confusion. No, I'm awakened to see a really fucked up world and a world with a lot of problems and actually I'm gonna I'm gonna take away the world aspect and just put it towards American society I don't I haven't I haven't gone to any other countries so I'm assuming this guy hasn't either but there's a lot of countries that don't have this technology you keep saying a world of confusion please stop saying a world of confusion use American society as your flagship because that's what you're actually targeting this video towards you're targeting this video towards the youth you're targeting this video towards people like me who enjoy technology enjoy the uses of technology can appreciate technology for its worth doesn't mean I'm a fucking asshole and can't have a conversation with my grandparents it just means I like technology there's nothing wrong with that and so there's so many more problems in the world that you could be focusing your poetic intellectual property with but yet you're gonna sit here and be like a oh, dude technology let me tell you about technology because that shit is fucked up dude people are always looking at the ground and shit like they're fucking staring at their phone and they're always doing this that and the other how fucking dare them what I don't fuck, fuck. a world where we're slaves to the technology we mastered where information gets sold by some rich greedy bastard what 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 the fuck what hold on replay that shit Stood. where information gets sold by some rich greedy bastard can i ask a question where is he getting this information from like where like what when he was writing this this specific line not the whole video actually the whole video in general but this specific little little quote here where he says information is being sold by a rich greedy bastard and then something about we're being enslaved by technology i don't understand what you're saying here i get the whole okay i get the message but this i don't i don't are you saying that it's white corporate america making technology to make us all fucking slaves because we go on 
on Facebook and talk to family members that have might have moved out of state or people that are across the world. You know, I've made friends in Europe and fucking Canada. You know how fucking awesome those friends are? I've even met some of my online friends. So maybe you haven't, Mr. Gary Turk, and I apologize that you never went out of your way to meet those people, but that's not my fucking fault. Don't sit here and call me a retard because you're out not doing shit with your fucking online friends, faggots. And they'll be there too, but no one will be if a group message will do. So what? They didn't have time to get together. And they're like, oh, dude, let's have a group message sesh because we were too, you know, our schedules didn't work well enough with each other. So let's just make a group message instead. That way we always can keep in touch and don't have to rely on our shitty fucking work schedule. Fuck! Oh, and the part where she takes the picture with her phone. Dude, how dare you share a moment? Maybe she went traveling by herself and her friends couldn't go with her. Jesus Christ, dude. Fucking circumstances change the whole picture, don't they? Faggot. Active and present, not reserved and recluse. You're being awake and attentive and putting your time to good use. So when you're in public... Yo, what game is that kid playing, dude? Dog, that's fucking Borderlands, dude. Oh, by the way, Gary Turk, not sponsored by fucking Sony. Just emphasize, if you read a book, paint a picture, or do some exercise, you're being productive. All right, this bit right here, where if you read a book, you exercise, and something else, you're being productive. Fair, fair argument, fair argument, right? Because if you're online reading news articles, or I guess I'm not being productive watching your videos, is that what you're telling me, Gary Turk? Is that what you're fucking telling me, faggot? Because to me, it's like, how is it any different to read a book or read a news article online than it is to read it in a magazine or paper? Wow. So what you're advocating is that we cut down more of the rainforest and cut down, you know, more more trees and shit to create newspapers. Because God forbid you go online and read a fucking news article without being crucified by Gary fucking Turk. By the way, side note, look at his fucking... His profile picture dude you're so fucking deep and inspirational damn a fucking desk out in the middle of the windows 95 background default desktop damn nigga don't put your hands behind your head step away from the phone you don't need to stare at your menu or at your contact list just talk to one another learn to coexist all right so i don't think even if i don't look at my phone and i walk around town or i go to a public subway you don't see that many two people necessarily on their phone. They're not talking just because they don't want to fucking talk. Not because they don't want to look insane, but because they just don't know what the fuck to say. I mean, I work a retail job, dude. Half those people, granted, part of your argument is right to about the 20% of people that I'll encounter, which I encounter a lot of fucking people. I shouldn't even say 20%, maybe 15 to 10% of people that I encounter while working are always on their phone or can't be bothered with my customer service to get off their phone. And it does bother me when they are on their phone because I'm trying to help them. But in a subway scenario where I don't have to interact with people, it's not that I don't want to. It's not that I don't give a shit. It's not because I'm on my phone. It's just because it's weird as shit just to be like, oh, hey, how you doing, buddy? My name's Adam. How are you today? Dude, did you have a good day today? How was your day? Some people don't like being bombarded with questions. You don't know what that person either just went through. You don't know if anything you'll say will offend them. The society to be afraid to talk about anything so fuck you gary turk we're becoming unsocial it no longer satisfies to engage with one another and look into someone's eyes all right if you're on your phone during a date we all know you're a fucking douchebag in my personal instance when i'm out with my friends i'm probably not on my phone why because i'm not a douchebag and what you're trying to point out right now is people do this daily on a day-to-day -day basis which you know you might be right but uh, agreed, if you're on your phone while on a date, you're probably not gonna get any pussy. It's the norm. It's not very likely you'll make world's greatest dad if you can't entertain a child without using an iPad. Oh, dude, play that fucking lyric back, bro. You'll make world's greatest dad if you can't entertain a child without using an iPad. <laughs> dude. Listen out here, number one dads. You just got roasted. All right, so pretty much the rest of this fucking video is him talking about how fucking cool he is and how much cooler he is than your fucking kids. And what's funny, I'm gonna just stop the video right there. Two minutes, 11 seconds in. I'm not gonna even make it through the full video because quite frankly, I have a lot to say and I don't wanna take up. I'm almost, I'm at, I'm at 10 minutes with this video right now and I don't wanna make this long of reaction videos. But holy fucking shit, dude. This is, this is the whole synopsis of what our society is becoming. You've got Kobe Pearson, Joey Salads, <laughs> Salad, who make these videos talking about the dangers of social media and oh my god, stay off the internet, don't try to make new friends. And then you've got fucking Gary Turk and these other YouTubers that are like, oh, stay off your phones and go outside and rediscover, you know, the earth and the ground, dude. Go outside and fucking do what I did when I was a kid because I think that's the only way you should live your fucking childhood, dude. It doesn't matter if these fucking technological bits keep you away from criminal violence and, you know, being a part of a young violent statistic. Now listen, 
I'm not saying video games, cell phones, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever keeps kids away from drugs and heroin and statistics. I'm just saying in my personal case, playing video games and being indoors a lot, don't worry. I went outside, Gary Turk. Don't fucking crucify me, dude. I had I had a decent childhood going outside according to your fucking standards. But playing video games uh, avidly quite a lot, I made a lot of online friends. And guess what? I'm 20 fucking years old now. I met some of those online friends and I plan to meet more that are out of the country, out of my country. But regardless, you've got two different types of fucking internet philosophers. You've got people like Gary Turk, who's like, uh, you should get off social media because it's fucking enslaving us to the, the white man who's selling information because he's a big rich bastard. So what he's really, what Gary Turk is telling you to go do is to instead give money to that white man. You should go give money to the white man who cuts down 15% of the rainforest almost every fucking two seconds or whatever the fucking statistic is. You should go give your money to that guy so we can make more newspapers so kids can read fucking newspapers. Papers. And then, like I said before, you've got Joey Salads, that <laughs> salad, and fucking Kobe Person, who are like, uh, social media is fucking dangerous. He's kind of saying the same shit. He's like, social media is dangerous. You shouldn't make any friends. Stay indoors. Lock your doors. Buy 40 guns to protect your home. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. You make life sound so fucking terrible. These people make life sound so fucking dull and boring. Like, listen, speak for yourself, Gary Turk. If that's how you lived your life, cool. I don't understand why you couldn't have put your time, money, and effort in editing and cinematography into something more important, like feeding starving children, or not exploiting the homeless, but trying to advocate feeding people who are less fortunate than you. Holy shit, dude. You have this, this type of problem that people think is a problem, and then you've got actual real-world problems, like the fuck Middle East is in complete shambles. And then Gary Turk thinks the biggest issue nowadays is people who are on their phones for too long. Or people who go on dates and are assholes that look at their phone. Fuck, dude. And then the ending line really gets me. Fucking smartphones and dumb people. Whoa, dude. That's, listen, I get the message you're trying to say. I get it. You want people to be outdoorsy and have be adventurous and cool and holy shit. If anything, technology is maybe you want to be even more adventurous, you know? I see pictures of countries and epic, beautiful scenery of countries that I want to go to. You know, that's the, that's the last thing I'm gonna fucking say. This video is too fucking long, dude. Anyways, guys, if you like what you're seeing and you like what you're hearing, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. My name's Inutsify, and as always, have a fucking fantastic day.